Hello, hello, hey guys, and welcome to another Ask Me Anything session. This is the part of Sound School where you ask questions, we try to give answers. I'm here with Alexia. Hello. How are you doing, Alexia? I'm fine. What about you? Doing great. So, what is the question that we have today? Okay, so Renato. Hey, Renato. Hey, Renato. He asks, I see different approaches when learning a language. Do you recommend using flashcards with translations? Would you translate directly the phrases with the abstract word or search the meaning to understand it? Okay. Of course, when I get your questions, the student questions, I have to uh, make it easier for us to answer it. So when he's saying abstract word is those are the words that are not from their his normal vocabulary. Okay, so let me see if I understand the question clearly. Renato is saying that there are many different approaches to learn languages to acquire new vocabulary. Yes, there are. And he's asking if he should use note cards and if when he is using note cards, should he just memorize one word or should he memorize the word in context with other like phrases and expressions. Yeah, the meaning of it. Do you say note cards and not flashcards? No cards or flashcards. Okay. Same thing. Okay. Okay, so I think I'm understanding it correctly. He's asking, should on one side of the flashcard, do I put dog and on the other side, cachorro? Or on one side, do I put my dog is running for the ball and on the other side, meu cachorro está correndo para a bola? I think so. I think that's it. Okay. Well, at least that's the way I'm understanding the question. So, Renato, if we are misunderstanding something, feel free to correct us. Yes, I think that the bottom line here, line here is, like, would you translate directly this word, like cachorro, dog, or would you search for the meaning of this word, you know, hmm. and understand the meaning instead of just translating it directly? Oh, so instead of saying, okay, what is dog in Portuguese, cachorro, you would search for El dog animal definition. G. Okay, interesting. Yeah, that's an interesting question. So I think it has to, it depends a little bit with what vocabulary you are trying to acquire with very simple concepts that you have a direct translation that's just automatically in your brain already. I don't think you need to do too much research on the true meaning because, for example, dog, you know what a dog is. Yeah. Right? Perhaps if it was a more sophisticated concept, it would make a little more sense to really try to understand the meaning rather than the direct translation. Yeah. When you say that, I always think like, for example, dog, cachorro. Okay, but... The dogs, they have fur, they have balls, they have, I don't know, como é que é rabo em English, for example, you know, <laughs> like, yeah, so you can take this word that you already know a lot and then you can read the meaning and the, the concept of this word and then learn more words to describe this word. Yeah, exactly. So we actually have a challenge in sound school. I believe it's week 15, which you have not arrived to yet. And the idea is simple concepts. So taking a very simple concept like a dog and then trying to explain that without using the word dog. So this is more or less exactly what he is referring to and what Alexia was talking about. You could say this is an animal. It's a furry animal. Many times this animal lives with humans. They like to lick people's faces and <laughs> chase after balls and squirrels. And that will really help you kind of ingrain the concept into deep into your brain. I think that's very useful. And on the other hand, if you're studying with flashcards or note cards, I do think it's important not just to have one single word and one translation. Not because the translation is incorrect, but because it's a lot easier to remember things and memorize things in context. Does that make sense? Yes, I think that's a... 
I don't like doing that. I don't like flashcards. I never used it. It's not a, a way that it's not a strategy that works with me at all because I get very, very anxious about the flashcards and I, I forget right. what I'm doing. But I think that if you like it and if it works for you, I would say that look for the meaning, understand the meaning, and then you use the flashcards and not the direct translation. The direct translation. The direct tra translation. But if only you don't know this vocabulary and if it's a little bit more complex. If it's not, I think that the flashcards with the direct translation is okay. Yeah. Yeah, so I have an interesting experience with this because when I was learning Spanish, I used a ton of note cards. I literally had like boxes and boxes full of note cards with just phrases, translation, phrases, translation. And that was really useful. I really liked the process of sitting down and I think writing something physically with a pen and paper is really helpful and can be very effective. But on the other hand, when I was learning Portuguese, I used, I think, zero flashcards and no cards. And that was also pretty effective. So it kind of depends on your learning style, the way that you like to. Do you prefer to walk outside and listen to audios? Do you prefer to sit down and write things down? That's a big part of it as well. Yeah, exactly. I like to write. I like to write a lot as well. Yeah, well, maybe next time you should try out flashcards. I can't. I get so anxious about it. Okay. You know how I, I feel under pressure when someone is asking me something. It's so horrible. Okay, well, that is for another podcast. But thank you for the question, Henatu. I hope that answers or at least clarifies some things. And we will be back with another question soon. Yeah. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.